Good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke chapter 9 today, verses 14 to 17. So we're going to continue to see what happened. And I think this is a, another one of these famous stories. For there were about 5,000 men. Then he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of 50. And they did so and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the multitude. So they all ate and were filled, and twelve baskets of leftover fragments were taken up by them. So this was the story we've had at the last couple of mornings. Jesus is kind of off in the corner. That's not a very big place. They don't have too much. All they've got is a few fish and a few loaves of bread. And they said, well, send the people away. We don't, we don't have even the beginning of something to feed them. And Jesus said, well, you, you, you get them something to eat. They said, we don't know what to do. So Jesus goes on, and then we read this part. So make them sit down. Why did he make them sit down in groups of 50? Do you know? It must have been so they'd be easier to count. This is going to be a miracle about the kingdom, the working of the kingdom. And so we're going to count them up here. So they're sitting in groups of 50. And then what do you have? Jesus takes the five loaves. Jesus takes the two fish. And he blesses them. And he begins to break up the pieces. And we're told in the story very plainly, uh, indisputably, they set it before the multitude. Now this is this is... Now, it says 5,000 men, and so it's probably around 12,000 people, maybe, with the men, women, children, aged people, everybody that's kind of hanging out there. Certainly over 10,000 people fed from, from just a handful of bread and fish. But yes, because in the hands of Jesus, there was a miracle of multiplication, and it was given to the disciples, and they passed it out. And it said there, they all ate. They all were filled. They, they didn't just have just a pittance. They were filled, and then there were baskets and baskets of leftovers. So I think this is helping us understand that, again, God owns the cattle on a thousand hills, as the Bible tells us, and there's no end to what God can provide. We The real, the real stopping place, the real narrow spot in the whole uh, process here is yours and my faith. We're not leaning on God enough. We're not asking him for enough. Here we have this picture of serving and blessing others. You know what, friend? May the Lord be our helper and, and help us to, to find what he would have us to do and point everybody to heaven for his miracles. They are true. They still exist, and they can still happen today. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to lean upon you. You have the help we need. You have the miracles uh, to minister, help us minister to people. May your blessing be upon us as we serve you and serve others. To your glory, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.